In much of the country tonight, it is warmer inside the fridge than outside the front door. Have a look. Across the upper states, the lows today were preceded by minus signs. The deep freeze reached deep into the heart of Texas with lows in the low 30s. More than 241 million Americans saw it below freezing today. In Indiana, let's have a look at this for a moment. There was a pileup involving at least seven tractor trailer rigs. One person was killed in this accident. This part of I-94, 60 miles from Chicago, is going to be closed for a while. Ferries crossing between New York and New Jersey had to navigate through ice on the Hudson. Jamie Ucas of our CBS station WCCO is in one of the coldest places, Minneapolis. Jamie? Scott, it reached six degrees below zero for a high temperature today with a wind chill of minus 10. This cold isn't just a nuisance, it's a danger. Minnesota is on track for its coldest winter in 33 years. In the last 24 hours, ice and whiteout conditions have caused nearly 400 crashes across the state. Classes were canceled at more than 500 school districts to protect students from frostbite as they travel to and from school. Dr. Ryan Fay is a surgeon at a Minneapolis frostbite center. When you're talking temperatures, you know, ambient temperatures around 20 below, wind chill temperatures around 30 to 50 below sometimes, you know, within just a few minutes, two to five minutes, we're talking about the onset of, of frostbite. This hospital has seen a record number of patients with symptoms, such as blackened fingers, ears, and toes. It was over 80 just in December alone. Uh, we're on track for at least that again here just in January. We're talking about below knee amputations. We're talking about through the foot amputations, taking off fingers, taking off toes, taking off hands. Wind chill warnings and advisories are now in effect in 26 states. Any moisture quickly freezes roads. As a result, there have been at least two major pileups on different interstates today. 50% of the Great Lakes is now frozen. This satellite photo shows nearly all of Lake Erie is covered in ice. It's too cold to create the conditions that lead to the lake effect snow common this time of year, a welcome break in parts of Ohio and upstate New York. Minneapolis should be 40 degrees warmer tomorrow, but Scott, we don't plan to get used to it. Next week, we're expected to get another blast of extreme cold. Negative 36 in International Falls, Minnesota <laughs> today. Jamie, thanks very much.